Hey, Corky here, Hamilton, Alabama. <clears throat> Thank you all for uh, watching videos. I'm going to do a video right now <clears throat> that I'm calling What Lola Taught Us. And it just kind of occurred to me this morning that when I heard the song it came up on the on the streaming service, Lola by the Kinks, one thing that we assume that guitar players know and they may not know is everybody knows we we were formed by the Beatles, at least our the generation that I am. But when you listen to the Beatles when you were alive during that time, it wasn't just the Beatles, it was the British invasion. And the British invasion brought the Kinks, Yardbirds, Day Part Five, Rolling Stones, so many others. So these songs are all in my collective memory and I think of my generation. The way I learned guitar was by playing in garage bands. And so <clears throat> the hits that came out, somebody on here would comment and said I was playing through the hits. But <clears throat> these are familiar, you know, footprints, uh, these songs. And I think I may have realized this morning that Lola, the lead guitar part to Lola, may have taught me the major scale the way I play it all my life. So in Lola, you're in the key of E, right? And it comes to a part in Lola where it goes. Okay, and we're up here on the sep. Uh, well, we're in, we're in the uh, ninth fret. We're in E. And that lick right there, when I learned it, I used it a lot in other songs. And it goes like this: a bend uh, on on the G string on the eleventh fret. Then G string on the ninth. But look at that. And of course that was, you know, that's, I showed that in the Doobie Brothers chord uh, structure, chord technique, that little uh, thing in E that you do that's also in Don't Let Me Down by the Beatles. What this is is giving you this box here, and so Lola goes. That's on the A string, so it's on the G string. It's a bend down to the ninth fret, and then D string on the eleventh, D string on the ninth. A string on the 11th, A string on the 9th, A string on the 7th, and then a slide on the A string from the 9th to the 11th, which is the 3rd the of that E, A flat note. So what he does on that Lola, the Kinks do, I don't know who's playing it, which Davies or whichever one, or maybe somebody else. But anyway, he's showing you a scale. And that's also the scale for the Allman Brothers Mountain Jam, which was the Donovan song, First There is a Mountain. Now, later in the song, he messes with this box and you think, I think of this as kind of a, it's an E. Hendrix used it too. So you can 
you can tweak that little box. So in E, and what it is, it's like kind of like a G form. I don't know what you call this. Using two notes at a time. Anyway, it's right there. And then the third is like. And I'm thinking Lola was maybe the first time I heard that. Because, you know, we had heard a lot of the twanging uh, blues scales and more or less blues scales in rock and roll. And you'd had to go into Motown or something else to really listen to guitar players playing, you know, these major scales unless it was just a ballad or something. So anyway, later in the song, he does some things like this in Lola. And that's a bend on the G string, 11th fret, and you're holding the B string on the 12th so solid. Anyway, I think Lola is what, where I learned it. And I hope I've given you a little box there. I had one young guy, young player, come to my guitar night Tuesday, one Tuesday. And when he learned that, he said, he took it and showed it to dad and said, look what I learned. And so that little box, and of course, if you're in D, it's down two frets. If you're in C, you're on the fifth fret, you know. Anyway, Lola, Kia V, have a good day.